This is a lovely part right here, but how can we make it move? So let's say you want to make it move left and right right here. Okay, like this. Now I think this is the X value maybe. Yeah, or horizontally. So let's say you want to make it move. Maybe you're making this for Avi. Now there's actually a lot of different ways, but I'll go with the most simplest one, uh, I guess you'll say. So we're going to first insert a script. Okay, boom, we got the script right here. And we're gonna start with making some variables. For example, local. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't spell it again. Go script up here. Um. By the way, I'll, I'll probably make more videos on this because it's actually it's it's not really complex, but there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Um. For example, sometimes it will stick to a player, or when a player, I mean, when a player uh, steps on it, it will stick to it. Uh. But usually it won't. So. First we got the part variable, then I think we can start with our for i loop. The for i uh, v in pairs, uh, hold on a minute, oh no, not for i v, sorry, for i equals. So we're going to first start with, uh, we're going to make three values in each one. For the, well, the first one will be our starting point. So we can really make it anything, it depends on how long you want it to move for, I mean, how much you want it to move for. So I'll start with 0 0.5, 0, point, uh, 0 point, I guess, 1. Or maybe negative 0 0.5, I'm not sure. Negative 0 0.5. It can be anything, right? Uh, so we can go, actually, you don't really need anything. Uh, you don't need ex an exact number. It really, it re all it is is how many times you want it to loop for. For example, 1 to 10, maybe, 1 to 100, and 1. So basically, this is where you will start at 1. 100 is where you will end, and how many times it will go up by. So if you want to go down, it will be negative 1. So do. Uh, OK. So now we want to change. We want to manipulate the part's uh, position. Now we can do part.c frame, which is another way of saying the uh, position, but there's like more values to it, I guess you could say. I mean, you can still say part dot position, but uh, it's not really. That's very. That's too basic. Uh, yeah, I think that's too basic. So we'll do uh, part dot c frame equals part dot c frame. Again, part dot oops, part oops, no, no, not that. Okay, part dot c frame. So itself will be the same thing plus vector three dot new. So this is basically a vector three value has a the vector three da data value, right? So that's what basically C frame is. But well, the first three values of C frame is, is basically vector three. So X, Y, and Z. So we'll do zero, zero, zero. And then you will add on whatever uh, X value or whatever value that you want to change by. For example, if you want it left and right, I'm not sure if this is like the correct value, but we're going to go to our size or not size position, I should say position so if you see it moving it's actually moving on the x value so if you want it to move it, move it like this this is moving on the x value you want to uh, manipulate the x uh, value of the vector 3 so we'll do uh, hold a second x plus hmm part dot c frame plus then you want to uh, hold a second. I to. I think you need another uh, variable. Sorry, uh, local factor plus equals one. Zero plus one factor. Okay, so I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, there you go. So basically, what it does now, you can make it this i. So whenever it's one to one hundred. But for me, I'm just gonna choose factor, so it really moves one stud, if that's if I'm correct. So it moves one stud on the x value. So then, when we do that, let's say you want to move it, move it back to the other side. We'll basically copy and paste this. Do one two negative one hundred negative one. So it goes to or well, I should say, technically it's. 100 to 1 and down 1 every time loops and then we'll do factor minus factor
or actually minus factor 3 and then factor so it's going back so then we can put this in a while loop true do copy and paste this put it put it inside the while to do and then make sure this end right here okay unless uh, otherwise there will be an error okay let's see if this will work let's wait okay and hold second put wait one and make sure you put a wait for every four i loop so for i loop make another way let's properly indent this okay hold a second yeah that's stupid no okay uh okay should now work maybe it's the numbers are too big i'm not sure um but we're not really uh the, the part won't really move depending on the eye for the four eye loop so let's see how this works okay where is this Okay, as you can see, it's moving like a little slug on the pavement. It's actually, it's not very smooth, as you can see. You can actually make it more smoother um, by doing a few things. So instead of 0, uh, 1, 100, uh, 1, 100, you can actually should be changing the last, the third variable, or the tr third number for the for I loop. So maybe you want to do 0 0.1 instead right it will make it a bit more slower but you, again you can uh, you can change the weight value so this week maybe you want to make it shorter but this is very fast it's fast enough so it shouldn't really be that big of a deal so let's see uh, or maybe hold a minute maybe maybe you can change this maybe maybe change this to 50 so where it ends so 50 so 1 to 50 by 1.1 or 0 0.1 and 50 to 1 by down uh, negative 0 0.1 let's see how this how smooth this will be should be significantly smoother I think okay it's a bit more smooth I think don't you think um, now the problem with this is that it actually runs by oh this way oh 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 what the hell hold a minute what the hell that was weird <laughs> what the heck was that uh Oh, this is weird. I'm not sure what the hell happened. So the yeah, I think it's moving off. The thing is, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. And now it's coming back. So basically, I mean, you kind of have to do a trial and error. Unless you're like a really pro scripter, you can kind of manage to uh, manage to uh, do it like without with your first try. But usually, you kind of have to play with numbers if you want to fit it correctly in your whatever you want to put it in. Um, but this is our first, uh, I guess, first st not strategy, but our first way of doing it. Now, if you realize it might be actually laggy because not because it's like the script, it's not because of the script, but rather it's played in a server. So the script itself is run on a server, not played in a server, but run on a server. So how can you play it on a client? So the the reason we want to do it is so it's actually more smoother so it's not actually dependent for example if you have a high ping or you're really laggy the animation itself will also be laggy so if you want to make an obby that will actually be pretty problematic so let's say you want to change this so let's uh, copy uh cut this or i should say so maybe we'll do um actually let's do it uh, anyways so first we want to make a Replicated, uh, replicated storage. Let's put in a remote event, and this will be move. Or you can name it whatever you want. Uh, I'll do part move. So we'll do game that replicated storage. Dot part move. Fire all the clients. So we'll fire to all the clients, unless you want to fire to a specific client. But uh, yeah, fire all the clients. And then. We will pass down an argument, which is the part. So we'll do local equals script up here. So this is the part that's moving. Part. Maybe we'll put wait one. I don't know why. This why not? I don't know. Uh, to play on the client, of course, we need a local server. Uh, not local server. I mean, local script. Sorry. Uh, so usually you can just do that in uh, starter GUI. So local script under starter GUI right here, as you can see. Okay, so local script under start GUI. And then we can paste all our things in here, but so we have, okay, no, uh, do this. So we have all of this that we just scripted. Make sure you know uh, what you're doing here. Uh, but before, of course, before we do that, we need to get the, uh, to get the remote event, right? 
or receive it, right? So we'll do game dot replicated storage dot part move. Oops, part move on cl uh, sorry no, dot on client event connect function and then connect function brackets and we will do part here because this is what we've passed down so we know this is the part that needs to be moved and then second last bracket press enter and then you can copy all of this and put it between these two uh, between yeah between these two thingies majingies so make sure the end is the last thing that is on the script so paste okay you have three ends right in the last part okay so make sure you don't actually get this wrong um, okay so this will be on a local script what we've done here is basically we find the remote event and we got it in this local script right here so this uh, remote event is for the client so let's see if this works let's see if this works I think last time it was maybe the part was connected to the base plate and so I moved the base plate with it. Okay, there you go, so it works perfectly. Now you might not realize it, but it's actually more smoother than when it was in a server because right now it's running on my client and not on the server. So if it was laggy, you, you can actually tell there was a difference. So this will work for every client at the same exact smoothness, I guess you can say. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy. If you maybe understand it, if you don't, maybe uh, comment down what you didn't understand. Maybe I can help you, I guess, right? Uh, it's a very simple topic. I just decided to do it because, I mean, why not? It's actually very, uh, it's a beginner thingy majiggy. It's a beginner, a beginner tutorial. It's very easy. I'll, I'll probably make more uh, of this because there's actually a lot. I and mean, you can also use the, the lerp function. Alert function is pretty cool. Um, you can use there's actually a way you can do it using like these bodily functions, these body functions or something like that. They're basically properties of a part. Um, there's like I know those are the two that I can think of that you know there's other ways uh, other ways of doing it. Those are two other ways I can think of. So if you want more, maybe uh, just comment down. Otherwise, I think this is eh, it's not really that complex. I mean. Who really wants this anyways i think that's enough for maybe uh for someone who wants to make a game but yeah i hope you enjoy and make sure to like because otherwise you're not cool okay like for cool and subscribe for even cool